Welcome back to Tipping Point. I'm your host, Kara McKinney. Would you accept an award from the Biden administration, especially after he became one of their targets? It's a weird situation one Border Patrol agent now reportedly finds himself in. His name is not being disclosed by DHS sources to the New York Post for obvious reasons. His name and the other agents falsely accused of whipping Haitian migrants at the Del Rio, Texas border back in 2021 have renamed anonymous for privacy and safety reasons. You remember the nasty vitriol hurled at these agents by Biden and the rest of his cronies in the media, with Biden even vowing that they would be made to pay. They drew disgusting parallels with the days of slavery when it turns out these agents were trying to control a crowd of thousands of illegal migrants rushing the border while also keeping their horses under control in the chaos. No one was whipped, the horse reins are just very long, and so the pictures can look misleading for those who don't mind lying and cheating to maintain power. According to this report, one of those five agents on horseback received a Border Patrol Achievement Award yesterday morning for his intelligence work on human smuggling cases. I hope Mayorkas, Biden, and all the rest of them feel really bad about themselves now. Not only did they smear innocent men as being racist monsters, but these are the very men who are actively cleaning up the mess caused by their open border policies, namely human smuggling in this case. If the elites in power still had the ability to feel shame and humiliation, this should be at the top of that list and making them feel that way, but I won't hold my breath. Joining us now to discuss is Mark Recorin, the executive director of the Center for Immigration Studies. Mark, thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for having me. Great. So do you think you may orcas, Biden, and them are going to feel shame over this? Because it's just perfect, isn't it? From faux villain, they puff these guys up into faux villains in 2021 to real life heroes. Look, I'm even willing to extend a little grace to the president because he jumped to conclusions. People do that. It happens. But an honorable man would take his public platform and say, you know, I apologize. I jumped to conclusions. I was wrong. And uh, I apologize to this agent and to the American people. That we have not heard. And there's a reason for that. The president is not an honorable man, certainly not in this respect. No, you're definitely right on that analysis. And sadly, it's one of those things that we've known for a while, but it kind of keeps being beat back into our heads over and over and over again that this this is the world we, we are living in now. These are the, the people who are supposed to represent us in higher office, though it's hard to say that with a straight face because we haven't been represented our interests in really decades at this point. But it's, it's a lot more open now, I think. Uh, but of course, there is a lot of border related headlines in the news and not all of them good. Obviously, probably none of them good at this point. Uh, but DHS data as well has shown that when it comes to these Biden midnight flights that we always talk about uh, with migrants being shipped here, there and everywhere, but back home. Uh, but what we're seeing now actually is about 80 percent of them, at least from January to August of 2023, we have DHS data on that now. About 80 percent of them, over 160,000, arrived in the state of Florida in just four cities, actually, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando and Tampa, of course. That's a state that's been made quite red by Governor Ron DeSantis. So do you think the Biden administration shipping a bunch of illegal immigrants to his state, that, that, that there's a reason that they have an intention for doing so? Uh, no, not in this case. I mean, uh, a lot of the people they're flying around, the administration is flying around, are these unaccompanied minors. Those are the ones that really got people's attention. This is a different program. Absolutely absurd, but it's different. And it allows people from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela to not sneak across the border, but just fly over the border directly to where they want to go. They have no right to be here. They're inadmissible aliens. They, they don't have visas. And the administration is just letting them in. What is causing the focus on Florida is that they are Cuban and Haitian and Venezuelan and Nicaraguan, and their immigrant communities that these people are coming to join are mainly in Florida. But the, it doesn't change the fact that this is a flow of people, hundreds of thousands every year, who have no right to come to the United States and are being let in regardless of numerical caps that Congress has passed. 